Okay, let's talk taxes, sales tax, and also federal and state estimated tax payments. Uh, we'll cover sales tax first. So as we do our Etsy journal entry, which is covered in a different section of this course, we are recording our sales tax payable amount that we owe from sales tax we collected from our customers and then we have to remit later. So let me show you where that number of total sales tax collected ends up and then whenever it's time to remit your taxes, this is where you will go to determine the amount that you need to remit. So if we go to reports, balance sheet, and the reports are covered in more detail later on in the course. You can uh, select your date. So let's say that you need to figure out what sales tax you have collected for the first half of the year. So maybe your sales tax has to be remitted by July 31st for sales tax collected through 630. So we're going to go ahead and change the date, run the report, then we're going to come down here to our balance sheet and we're going to find the sales tax payable amount. So this is the aggregate of all the sales tax you have collected from your sales and this number is coming from that Etsy monthly journal entry that we're doing. So now we know we need to pay $1.06 in sales tax. And you'll notice that because it's here on the balance sheet under liabilities, the sales tax we collect, it's not revenue to us. It's treated as an amount that we're just holding until we have to pay it out again. So let's go ahead and write our state a check in the amount of the sales tax payable we owe. So we're going to select our payee. It's going to come out of our checking account. We're making this payment much earlier in the year. Went too far. Let's say we paid it then. So then the account that we are going to select that this goes to is actually the sales tax payable account and other current liability. So when we do this and the amount is $1.06, we're going to go ahead and write that check and then we're going to save and close. This would be, I'm assuming that we're writing this check, you know, with a regular checkbook um, and then we're logging it into QuickBooks. So we're going to go ahead and save and close. Now, if we come here to the balance sheet in December, the amount of sales tax payable is now zero because we collected and then we remitted. And I'll show you that detail here. So you can see we owed the sales tax payable amount and then we, we remitted that amount. Um, this is a transaction from the previous year, um, sales tax that we collected and then owed at the beginning of the year. So that's how the sales tax portion works. Sales tax is not a revenue or an expense to your business. It's a liability that you collect and then remit. And the balance sheet is where you come to discover how much sales tax you owe. This number goes up as we do the Etsy entries each month. Another way that you might pay your sales tax is just using your debit card. So the same thing would apply. If, um, if this was a payment of our sales tax and we weren't writing a check, we would just change the account here also to sales tax payable. Um, I showed you the check way because I did not have a expense, a debit expense to use in my example. Let me find it. They always hide the accounts. Got to get to our liability section. Oh, see, I always pass it to. So we would simply, if this was a sales tax payable amount, we would simply select it from here. Same thing as writing the check. 
Okay, let's talk about federal and state estimated payments. If your business is doing well enough, you are most likely making estimated payments to the federal government and your state. Now, as a sole proprietorship or an LLC, your business is a pass-through entity. It is not taxed separately from you personally. Um, and if you need more explanation on that, then um, in the bonus section, you'll find my tax book, which will explain um, the, the elements that make up the tax picture for you. I'm trying to find, oh, I know why I can't find the transaction that I'm looking for. It's in checking. Okay, so look at the tax book for more information on the whole pass-through entity and how taxes work as a business owner. So here in September, we made an estimated tax payment to the IRS, our good friends, the IRS. Now this, because we personally, like our business isn't owing the tax, it's us personally. Like I said before, the business is not taxed separately from you personally. So we don't want to record this as an expense. Instead, we're going to use those equity accounts that we created at the beginning in our chart of accounts. So we're going to code this to Federal Estimated Taxes Paid and Equity Account. So what this does, let me bring up the balance sheet again. Instead of having federal taxes appear as an expense, your federal estimated taxes you paid will appear right here in your equity section. So this number will be important when you go to do your taxes at the end of the year. You need to know how much you have paid in estimated taxes, but this is not an expense of your business. It is, it's another type almost of an owner draw. So if we click on here, we can see the details of our estimated federal tax payments that we have made throughout the year. We would do the same for state estimated payments as well. If you are making state estimated tax payments throughout the year, you will use that equity state estimated taxes paid account that we have already set up in the chart of accounts section. Um, so that's how we handle taxes. It's their balance sheet items that do not affect our, the profit or the loss of our business.